A Happy New Year, Happy March Day on Minute 2. Um, I'm going to present here my uh, design for Original Ambiguous. Um, to start the exercise in the theoretical phase, I started with Heidegger and the bridge. Heidegger was one of the most important elements that I came across. Um, also other elements um, like Rome and, and uh, dwelling and uh, Peras are all interesting topics that I was introduced to by uh, reading the book. Another book that was also really important in my research was Norbert Schulz Hegens Loki, um, things like Imago Mundi, understanding the place and uh, how you interact with the place uh, were really interesting in um, things to, to, to read about and to discover. My design therefore wanted to uh, make a structure that experiences this place. Uh, it gathers, it needs to gather and it needs to unify the place that um, it, it is built in. As a first starter, I made uh, these sketches uh, with, uh, with the different landscapes and then placing a building in it and it starts to change. The landscapes change, the building changes and they have an interaction to each other. I saw that a horizontal force, one that is devoid of a mutual obstruction, is one of the interesting things to, 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 to introduce into a landscape. Um, it reacts really well to the landscape and it, it's a corridor that gives a rhythm and structure to the landscape. Therefore, it's a revealing building and it can change all over the place. I made eight landscapes, eight landscapes that are totally different. Um, they have different phenomena played and different uh, characters, different vegetation. But because of the diversity of it, like I could introduce a lot of um, changes into the structure that um, makes the dialogue come true. So I really searched for a variety of landscapes. I placed this corridor structure uh, inside of eight, all eight of these landscapes. Um, first by sketching it. This finally resulted in these eight uh, concrete blocks that I made with the structure then placed inside of it. Uh, here you can see it on the movie. You can really experience that uh, volume that um, is trying to, yeah, to go in confrontation with actually the size of that way also revealing um, elements of uh, its surroundings. Um, just these basic how the light moves and how it uh, how it is located is really precisely defined and I really try to look at how it could best possibly um, yeah embody the place and, and experience that 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 location uh, to the fullest also a little bit in the forest and how it then hides inside of the forest that really was trying to to look at after the eight concrete blocks i uh, needed to make a the structure but how it will this now a volume, just a neutral volume, how will it be introduced inside of the landscape, how will it be made? Now, I made three systems. Um, the importance was that it was a, uh, not a family of structure, but it's one structure that changes. So you have the orthogonal basis of the uh, system, and then you have the system A, B, and C. System A is one of the strongest ones because of the uh, uh, how the, the beams are, are pressed. You have a system B that is a lot more fragile and also cannot go really high. And then you have a system C that is cutting inside of the landscape because of the sloped roof, it has more of the cutting uh, experience. And then you get also the three um, system that you go from A to B to C 
so you need to change the structure because of the rhythm of the, um, the, the, the beams and um, this will create a wave uh, structure within the, um, the rhythm of uh, the, the full building. Finally, I wanted to have a place of being, a dwelling also inside of it, because only having that structure is quite mechanical. So I, I introduced the core, a kind of a, a cover place within the, uh, the structure. Now it's about um, introducing this system inside of all eight of my landscapes. Uh, so it's really looking at all the details of the structure uh, and here in this, these sections you saw a little bit of, you see a little bit of my uh, process of designing this um, where which system A or B or C will be used and uh, how it then um, why and where uh, it happens um, this creates all eight of these variables um, and then I made, for each eight of them, I made a sketch. So these sketches are um, yeah, depicting how the structure and the differences would then be inside of the landscape. Um, as you can see, like here it's buried, um, it really has a fine dialogue and a really um, interesting uh, dynamic. So then I want to make my final design. I chose the bay as uh, my final execution. This is a 150 meter long structure uh, with 51 frames. Um, a part of it is on the mainland, then a part of it is in an inlet, and then you have also the connection to the island. The rhythm of the structure then also changes towards these three elements. Here on the island it's strong, here in the inland it is cutting inside of the sea, and here on land it is obstructed, the structure is quite close to each other. Because of the three, the three systems, you create a kind of a wave pattern. This wave pattern slowly changes throughout the structure and you can see these 51 frames next to each other. You see how they change. Each single one of them is different. And then you have the core that is located in the inlet. It's in between of the um, most important elements and it, it harbors the, the place and its, and its most important um, location, I think. So the building actually um, tries to, to combine all elements of the place. It tries to understand it, it tries to make a, a logical process of uh, the place and embodies then that, that, that location, that atmosphere, that uh, cosmos. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for uh, listening um, and now it's over back to the webcam.